Hi everyone, it's Joy. And today we are going to talk about the By Terry Foundation. And this is the Densilis, which is the Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation. And I am in color medium peach, which it's funny because I would have never thought that I was a peachy color, but this is what she matched me up to. And I've tried to apply it a few different ways. I, well, what I've come to find out is the way that I like to apply it on to my skin, and I have dry, pretty dry skin. So what I like to do is initially I put on this Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. I put, dang, it is so rainy and stormy here. So the lighting is like in and out and in and out. So sorry about that. But I put this on first. And you, this is, it's not a, a silicone-y, it's not a thick primer. It's very light, creamy, it absorbs into the skin pretty well. It's not, um, you don't feel heavy. It doesn't have to settle so much. So what I found when I tried it with just this, I didn't like it so much. So what I found whoops, that I like to do then is I like to take the Benefit Professional and I take a little bit of that and I press that into, you know, just right around here in the area right into the T-zone. So it gives it, oh, I have dog hair on me. It get, stuck to me. It gives just a little bit extra filler inside my pores. So I found that the Makeup Forever HD all over, and I let that settle for, I don't know, maybe a minute. And then I go over my pores around my nose and T-zone with the Benefit Professional, the original one. And then I take the first pump, you shake this up really good, and I take the first pump, a full pump, and I put it on with my fingers. And I find that it warms it up really nicely, but it's a very light, Thin coverage and I personally like a little bit more coverage so the first time I put it on with my hands and then the second time and I kind of let that settle on into my I let kind of let it dry onto my skin I go do something else I go plug in my curling iron or or you know whatever do so I wash my hands because I can't stand the foundation on my hands. And then the second time I use one of my brushes and I found that these two work the best. And this is the Tom Ford number two brush or the Wayne Goss number one brush. So this is the Goss brush. Oh, see it's getting really bright. The Goss brush and then this is the Tom Ford. And either one of these, like today I put it on with the Goss brush. So then I just take it And buff it around and then I find that I get a really nice airbrushed look and it got just uber bright really fast okay there that's a little better or the Tom Ford brush either one of them those two brushes really blend it out nicely. And then I will set it with a powder. Either I've been setting it with um, the Laura Mercier loose powder. I've been alternating that with the Urban Decay Naked loose powder. Both of those work really nicely. And I found that the Laura Mercier is a little bit denser powder. The Urban Decay is a little bit lighter powder. So that's what I found with the difference between those two. They both have pretty good coverage, about the same, same lasting staying power. 
Um, and then I'll set it when that's, when that's all done and I'll put on, you know, my blush and everything. And then I'll set it with the by Terry, the hydro, hydro, I can't even pronounce it. Hydrolonic, the white powder. And that makes a really nice finish. And I found that the by Terry, this, I paid $115 for this. So I expected a lot from it. I... I wouldn't say that you would have to run out and get it, but I will say that it does not break down on my skin, which a lot of foundations around my eyes and around my nose and around my chin totally break down during the day. This one does not do that. It has a wonderful finish all throughout the day. But I also get that with the Lancome, the, the Tint Idol foundation. That one will do that as well. This one I know is known for its skincare products or the skincare that you get from it, um, anti-wrinkling and stuff like that. And I find that my skin looks really nice throughout the day. I find that it feels hydrated throughout the day. My makeup stays on throughout the day. It does not break down. My eyes don't get uh, dry and crinkly throughout the day with this on. I do use concealer, but I use the It Cosmetic Concealer and Bye Bye Eye. So that and that also has skincare benefits in it. I've also found that this keeps my it does not go blotchy on my face. I don't know that I would call it a holy grail because of the price tag on it, but I would say that it is an extremely, extremely nice foundation. And if you are looking for a major high end that you don't mind spending that kind of money for to try it once, then I would say maybe give this one a, a try. I don't know that I'm gonna run out and repurchase it when I'm done, but I don't know that when, I, it's, when it's all gone that I won't miss it and eventually go out and repurchase it. Does that make sense? Where I'll be trying other ones and go, hmm, it's no by Terry, but it's okay. So, and I think I've, I've been using it now for about three weeks and it's down to about here. I can see a little bit, I've used it. So it's, you know, when you pay that kind of money on a foundation, honestly, you want it to move mountains and you want your face to look 10 years younger when you use it. So I can't say that it's done that, but I can say that I've really noticed my skin looks nice throughout the day while using it. So by the time I'm done using it, I may have to run out and get it again, or probably once I've been using my other ones, I'll know better then. But um, I do like it a lot. I think it's a wonderful foundation. I don't know if it's worth $115, but I think that there's other ones out there that do a really nice job too. So my final thoughts on this, I'm going to enjoy it while I have it. I think it's, I'm glad I bought it. I don't know that I'll buy it again, but I'm going to really enjoy the luxury of having a foundation that really does deliver. It does keep my skin looking nice for a very long time. So. I hope that that helps. I would say if you're if you're just wanting to bust out and try a really great high-end foundation with skincare benefits, then go for this. You know, give it a try. There are other ones out there that are very nice, and I I wouldn't want to knock any of the other ones. But I'm think this one is it might be worth the money. So, get a sample if you can get a sample and give it a try. Um, I'm very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with it. But again, I don't know that I'd run out and buy it again. Um, it would have to be a special treat to do it again. So, well, there you go. If it was less expensive, yeah, I would go get it in a second. It's the price tag. It's a hindrance. So it'll have to be, you know, when I use other ones, if I really, really miss this, then we'll talk. But, um, but I do like it. It's really nice. Okay, I hope you're having a great day. Be well, my friends. Bye-bye.